Greetings, Beans. It's your Mama Bean, Allie, and welcome back for another episode PSA of PSA Rant with Mama Bean. I am your host, Allie Stitches, and here is my background, Bjorn and Jason. Returning with another face expression that I made, because <laughs> I don't know why I'm using him, because number one, he's beautiful, and number two, um, his face expressions are very relatable. <laughs> Anyways, off the chase. Yes, this episode is all going to be about Lunchly. To any of you that don't know what Lunchly is, it's technically a ripoff of Lunchables, which is a very crappy lunch pack made in America and is filled with very unhealthy shit for children. Yes, and only in America, childhood obesity is on the rise to this very day. And who created Lunchly? Why, if it isn't the one and only Mr. Beast. We're in Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory in real life. And one of these 10 people is going to walk away with this chocolate factory. Yeah, the Mr. Beast. The man with over 300 million subscribers. Who creates very crazy videos and it's always relating with winning a lot of money. To be honest, I am not really a big fan of Mr. Beast. Yes, back then I did support him just for a little bit, but then the controversies begin to rise this year, and I'll get to that next part because his collaboration with two people is quite questionable. First off, why did Mr. Beast create Lunchly? Well, Let's just say he's against childhood obesity, and back then he said, you know, he wants to end childhood obesity by creating a healthy alternative of chocolate called Feastables. Now, okay, I have to admit, Beans, back around 2022, I did buy myself a Feastables, and it was a corpse husband theme because I'm a total corpse husband fan and I love him. I love his creepypasta narrations. I was a total fangirl, so I have to get one of those chocolates. And in my opinion, it's not the greatest chocolate in the world. And seeing the labels, I was actually mind blown that I feel like it's a lot less healthier than Hershey's. Seriously, he's been shitting on Hershey's and I love Hershey's and Lindor. Mainly Lindor is my most favorite chocolate. Anyways, so yeah, Mr. Beast not only created a, uh, a healthier alternative of chocolate bars, he also wants to create a healthy alternative of Lunchables called Lunchly. And you want to know the collaboration? He collabed with KSI and Logan Paul. Well, you never, you never stand next to a dead guy? No. Yes, that Logan Paul, the one that was so controversial for going to the suicide forest and recorded an actual dead body. And the same man that also scammed a bunch of people with crypto. Out of all people, Mr. Beast, you had to choose Logan Paul. <laughs> I questioned that with my boyfriend and he's like, I don't know either, babe. <laughs> Also, I don't know why KSI is part of this. Maybe he just wants something to do and just wants to be part of it because I think he's hungry for that money. <laughs> but I'll get to KSI later on because what he's doing right now is freaking crazy. And a month later, he's still acting all crazy over two OG YouTubers. And I think you all know who I'm be talking about. So back to the Lunchly. What does Lunchly have that's a bit healthier than Lunchables? <laughs> Let's see. They have um, a little pizza. Wow, how healthy is that? Not only pizza, but with a tiny little Feastables chocolate bar and a prime drink. Okay, I never try to prime myself because I think it looks like just another shitty ass energy drink that's technically not good for you. I heard it's not really made for kids. I heard it's made mainly for teenagers and young adults. Even in the labels, it says you must be 18 or older to drink this. Because I think there's like, um, electrolytes and caffeine in it. Hmm, feeding caffeine to children? <laughs> How healthy is that? No, it's not. Kids are not allowed to have caffeine because kids normally and naturally have energy. 
There are other things besides having a f***ing energy drink for kids! I can see why Mr. Beast is collabing with Logan Paul because he also advertises Prime. <sighs> Let's see, what, what else does Lunchly have? The Turkey Stackums. It appears we have some uh, Ritz crackers that are probably stale, some shredded little fake cheese, and possibly expired ham, or whatever, or turkey ham, whatever the f*** it is. And of course, another Feasibles chocolate bar and some Prime. <laughs> Doesn't that look very healthy to you, Beans? Because this looks exactly like Lunchables. Let's see, what else? <laughs> We got the Fiesta Nachos. Wow, that sounds extremely healthy. It comes with uh, little stale circular uh, tortilla chips and some salsa, I see, and some queso cheese and a chocolate bar and prime. Fun! <laughs> Look, I know I sound a, a little crude when it comes to this because None of this looks freaking healthy. It looks exactly like Lunchables. And I bet it's far worse than that. Look, I'm not saying Lunchable, Lunchables is great. I think it's also bad. But Lunchly is just a... It's the same thing. It's nothing new about it. And there's nothing healthy about it. Mr. Beast did say, I'm against childhood obesity and I want to stop it. Dude, you're creating more obesity for, for, for children. And just because this brand has three YouTubers and influencers does not mean it's going to be good. Look, I'm not saying all influencers are, are bad when it comes to merchandise or selling things or advertising things. It's okay. I mean, the pink sauce lady, for example, she's a bad influencer and the stuff that she sells is very disgusting. Even I would not want to drink that because it looks like freaking Pepto. Let's see, I want to give a good example with Jacksepticeye's top in the morning to you um, coffee. And I think it looks fucking delicious. Even, he, he's, not, he's not selling it to children. He's selling it to young adults that actually needs it. And to be honest, I'm actually planning to get some top in the morning uh, Jacksepticeye coffee. Because I'm a coffee lover myself and I would give it a try and he sells it pretty well. Okay, let's also talk about some OG YouTubers that are... that. We're actually shitting on this Lunchly advertising. Let's start off with Dan TDM. I believe most of everyone knows who Dan TDM is. For me, me and my sister loved him back when we were kids. Um, he was an OG Minecraft YouTuber and he's very wholesome and now he is a father and he's living the life. And everyone is on his side. And not just him, but another YouTuber as well. So when Dan TDM saw the whole Lunchly advertisement, this is what he said. What happened to YouTubers, man? I cannot say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake for making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust people who are selling it to them. Do better. What Dan said, he made a really good point. Just because this brand has a slap on the face of an influencer, they know what they're doing. And let me tell you this, KSI was so butthurt on Dan's tweet. Seriously, it's been a month now and he felt butthurt and continues on and on just feeling hurt over that tweet and making like hundreds of tweets on X. He wants to pick a fight with him, saying like, Hey, why don't you call back, Dan? I'm so butthurt. We're trying to sell food. This is food we're selling. Um, sir, KSI, um, you are consuming children with very unhealthy foods. And plus, you're not a father. And same goes to Mr. Beast. The both of you are not fathers. Oh, speaking of another father... The OG creator himself, the legendary YouTuber of all time and to this very day, is loved by everyone, Pewdie F Pie. He called out Lunchly, and all he said, that he would never feed this to his one-year-old son Bjorn. Saying it looks like crap, even KSI's new song is crap too. 
I'm not sure what KSI is going to say about PewDiePie. I think he's going to be defeated because I think he's completely embarrassing himself. Just publicly humiliating himself on freaking X and on YouTube. He has nothing else to say. He wants to keep this drama going on and on. I mean, Logan Paul has got nothing to say. He's just there as well. But KSI is just... He just wants to continue this. He just wants Dan TDM to respond back. You know what Dan TDM said? I have a life. And he just shows pictures of him with his children. And to me, that is a badass move what Dan did. You don't f*** with the OGs. Because right now, they're just very concerning fathers just looking out for not only their children, but other children as well. They do not want these kids to consume these unhealthy snacks, unhealthy drinks, and meals because the- In my opinion, I am not a parent myself. I mean, if you count as a cat mom, even I would be concerning about these foods because they're not healthy. They're not- I just feel like they're not meant to be eaten. They feel fake. They feel high processed. They feel- It's like poison to children. Kids are not allowed to eat this sort of stuff. Children need natural nutrients, natural like fibers, potassium, all those good things for their bodies like so that they can grow. I don't think one tiny slice of pizza is going to make them grow. Instead of strong bones or muscles, they're going to grow fat. Yeah, Mr. Beast. You said you want to stop childhood obesity. You're doing that. Oh, that's not the only drama about Mr. Beast. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> well, yes, we know that Lunchly is not going to be a big hit. However, Mr. Beast is facing a lot of backlash from the past few months. Not just by Lunchly and collabing with Logan Paul, but not facing accountability about Chris Tyson. He's not saying anything about it, and he's not speaking up about the whole Chris Tyson drama. And not just that, but his TV show as well, how he treats his components and other YouTubers. And yeah, um, he just wants all of us to forget about all of that and keep moving forward. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Jim, Jim, Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimbo. Jimbo. <laughs> we still need answers from you. We're still waiting. Why are you ignoring all of this? Hmm? Oh, I see. You're spending seven days exploring an underground city. Hmm, no wonder. Hmm, maybe when you're finished with that, care to explain about the whole allegations? Jim Jim Jimmy? But yeah, Beans, th that is my whole opinion about the whole Lunchly drama and the three YouTubers and, to be honest, they're just... I think they're just grown-ass 30-year-old men that's just hungry for money and just want to sell a lousy product for children and just not care about the children. It's all about the money. They're just basically Mr. Krabs at this point. Remember the episode Krabby Land, you know, where Mr. Krabs was creating Krabby Land for children and just care about their money and not the kids? Yeah, they're nothing but cheapy the cheapskates. <laughs> But yes, what do you beans think? Do you think Lunchly is nothing but a scam? Will Mr. Beast face the accountabilities and allegations? And will KSI finally shut the f*** up? Well, that's it for this PSA rant, Beans, and I hope you learned something today. Please like this video and comment down below who I should rant about next. Also, don't forget to subscribe for some more ASMR content, creepypasta narrations, and videos like this. Have a wonderful day, little beans. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and stay warm. Goodbye for now.